Welcome to La Mia Italy, a series of short videos by a Brit with Italian blood who's lived in both Britain and Italy and loves them both. Where would you think this place is? Look at all those Italian names. Umbria, Calabria perhaps? But wait, Corso del Re? Viale Mussolini? We must be in fascist times. And Palazzo Governatoriale doesn't sound quite right for Italy either. Yes, I know you know from the title, this is in fact Africa. It is Asmara, the capital of Eritrea today, and previously of Italian Eritrea. The reason I'm sharing this with you is that Asmara, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is home to some wonderful modernist Italian architecture, and has retained some aspects of its Italian heritage. Look at this incredible modernist petrol station. It manages to look Italian, even though I've never seen anything quite like it anywhere. Or this Italian-style bar selling panettone. Now I have to say up front, I'm not completely comfortable with any of this. Italian Eritrea under Mussolini was racially segregated and the Italian legacy is not something which the Eritreans requested, nor is it something they necessarily want to celebrate. However, the legacy is there, whether we like it or not, and I do think it has been accepted and to some extent embraced by the Eritreans as part of their vibrant capital city. Eritrea was occupied by the new United Italy in 1889 as one of the scraps given to it in the European scramble for Africa. Mussolini wanted to use it as the base for invading Ethiopia, and by 1939, more than half of its population of 100,000 people was Italian. Asmara expanded rapidly in the 1920s and 30s, and has been described as a playground for Italian modernist architecture. I think that's slightly unfair, as those architects gave it their best shot and some of their work is magnificent. This is the Cinema Impero. It reflects fascism's flirtation with futurism and technology, with its 45 circular windows looking like buttons on a machine. It originally seated 1800 people and remains in use as a cinema. Its architect used the same design in Rome, although the Eritrean building has probably fared better. This is the Teatro di Opera, which has a wonderful modernist interior for 750 people. And here's the Casa degli Italiani restaurant, once upon a time only open to Europeans, but now thankfully open to everyone. This is the Albergo Italia, which is still going strong and open for bookings with a four-star rating on TripAdvisor. An Italian colonial capital needs a fine church, and this is the Church of Our Lady of the Rosary. Not all Italians return to Italy. In fact, there are over 400 buildings in Asmara today, originally built by the Italians. Infrastructure was also built, including railways. This could be a station anywhere in Italy, although you don't see many Ansaldo steam engines these days. But the masterpiece of modern Asmara, or indeed anywhere, is the Fiat Taliero building. It was designed to look like an aeroplane with its sweeping wings. The authorities didn't believe those wings would stay up and wanted columns for additional support. The architect, Giuseppe Petazzi, assured them they weren't necessary, and he was right. The building survived earthquakes and being bombed by the British in the Second World War. Petazzi became disillusioned with architecture and returned to Italy to be a teacher and died almost completely forgotten in 2001. Victor Emmanuel III did briefly become the Emperor of Ethiopia, but it didn't last, and the British occupied Asmara in 1941, and they administered it for a decade, after which it was mopped up by an independent Ethiopia, very much against its will, and Eritrea only achieved its own independence in 1993. Viale Mussolini became Corso Italia under the British, and then Haile Selassie Boulevard under the Ethiopians, before taking its current name of Harnet or Liberation Avenue. The Italians left behind a semi-planned modernist city, which I think is unique in Africa, with its Bar Vittoria, Pasticceria Moderna, Casa del Formaggio, Scuola Italiana, and the evening passeggiata along Harnett Avenue. The most recent figure I can find is that there were 733 Eritrean Italians in Asmara in 2007. But a great thing about Asmara is that the city and at least some of its cultural legacies and way of life appear to have been accepted. As I said at the beginning, I'm not completely comfortable with Asmara's Italian heritage, but I do hope Asmara will choose to continue to respect it for years to come. I hope you found this video useful and interesting. There'll be more to come along similar lines. In the meantime, in Bocca al Lupo, and I'll see you soon.